Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Same day, different source for you. <laughs> so I've literally been playing with this for like an hour. I told you guys in like a very old Navy video. I used to do tumblers all the time, kids submissions all the time. Now when we moved to the warehouse, they took the printer over. So like the black ink got all over the printer, like everywhere. I didn't know because I didn't print anything for like a month. So by the time I realized it, they're like, it's been a month. So this printer was like $2,600. And for some reason, I couldn't get it to like read the roll paper anymore. Something's wrong with the sensor. I finally got that fixed like a month ago. It seems to read the roll paper now. I'm not trying to jinx it, I ain't trying to mess with it. But when it comes to tumblers, I like to only print on the sheets because it's just so much easier for me to cut them exactly how I like them. So printing on the sheets just works best. Now, also for some reason, it is Saturday so there's kids here. Also for some reason, this is the issue with printing the sheets. It's not printing, like it's acting like there's like still like a quarter inch of paper over here. So it's printing all the way to the right. I've done the print head alignment and all that, but it's not that. I don't even know for what reason, for any reason. I really don't know why it's doing it. I tried everything and I think this maybe just there's ink somewhere that's covering. I don't I don't even know. I even have the thing open to try to look at how it's pulling the paper in. I have like the little, you know, when you put paper in, you gotta put the things to the side to hold the paper. I've done that. Now, after an hour, it's definitely gotten better. It's not off the paper. Like it's literally so slight, but it's better. So I'm gonna take advantage and print some transfers. We're making tumblers in this video. Didn't even say that, but this one printed fine. You see there's white at the top. So before there'd be literally no white at the top and it was like slanted. So as long as I have some white at the top, I'm good to be able to cut straight and I know the design is printed straight. So I'm gonna print a few off and then make them because I have about 500 blank tumblers and I just haven't been able to use them because the printer. It's working for now. We'll see. I don't even have that much paper, like sublimation paper. Haha, uh -huh. psych, Angela. <laughs> <gasps> when I tell you I used to sell tumblers, you sell tumblers. I have two packs of paper. This is the Epson paper. This is what works best for this printer. This is the Epson F570. It's a great printer, except the movers messed it up. If I got a bunch of orders for tumblers, again, I'll just buy a new one just because I just need to sell, <laughs> oh, just a thousand tumblers to make up for the cost of a new printer. Is it a thousand? No, a hundred. A hundred. A hundred? A hundred. I can't do much. Yeah. A thousand would be 25,000. No. A hundred. So I can definitely sell a hundred tumblers. No problem. No problem, guys. <laughs> Even if I sold 50, I would just buy a new one just because obviously I can't be working with these problems. So I'll probably just print a bunch of transfers just since it's working right now. Worst case, if I like go viral or like y'all would like these tumblers, I'll just print them on a roll and then cut them out. Or I'm gonna just have a uh, Cecilia print them for me and bring them to me or Judy and I'll just pay them for it if that happens. Printer, Epson F570. Contact Todd Eggersman if you would like to purchase one. So information is always down below. And then all like the designs I print in Photoshop. And then in Photoshop, I use my dimensions because you guys always ask my dimension. Why are you making noise? Oh yeah, I need to put new ink in there. Kids are so loud. So I use 8.2 inches wide. Height is 9.32 inches. So y'all are gonna ask me, I'm giving you the dimensions now. And then we're gonna start printing. All right, I need to refill some ink, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The yellow is the one that really needs to be refilled, but last time Riley somehow miraculously spilled some black ink in there, so. Uh, children. I was like, there's no way, you know, a child can mess this up. Bam! Yep. I don't know if you can see the black ink all over those nozzles. Don't know how, but she managed to do it. Let's refill it. Look at this boy putting on a baby hat. Roman! <laughs> what are you doing? Dad put this baby hat on. Yeah. All right, the yellow's refilled. Only time I'm proud of myself for overbuying. When I used to have money. See, at least you made smart decisions back then. When we used to have a bunch of sales and stuff. I didn't ever like to even be close to out. And now that I don't have money, <laughs> comes in handy. Good job, Angela. I'll tell that to my future self. When you never have sales again, to make sure I always have supplies in case of a rainy season. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to shake these. I don't even remember. If you weren't, sorry. But I guess you had to because the yellow looked weird. The yellow looked needed to be shaken. So yeah, what Riley did is she had squeezed it and she turned it. So that was just so amazing. But they're supposed to usually always be, I think, at least a quarter way filled. See, see, I just want to fart. Huh? I, I didn't fall. I didn't say you farted. I said this when you open these, it sounds like a fart. 
Oh, I thought I put the wrong color in. Gave me a heart attack. I just saw this color. I said, oh no, this is black. This is blue. Let's see if it farts. This is taking forever. All right, now let's start printing. Let's start printing. Yeah, and my thing sounds like an old rust bucket. All right, so this is my cutting mat and how I cut my transfers is I'll cut this whole side straight down. I'll cut the bottom all the way down. I'll cut the top all the way across, like the white line. But then I'll leave this here because it helps me line it up. And then I upside down, fold, fold. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these first. I use a rotary cutter to cut them with a straight edge ruler. One time I had, I was having issues and realized that I had two rotary cutter blades <laughs> on here. This was from Home Depot or Lowe's. It works well for me, I think, cause it's so thick. Empire. So like I said, I cut the right side off and then I cut the bottom off. Sorry if I'm blocking. In a minute since I've recorded tumblers and since I did tumblers, so they probably will be a little, little questionable, but it's okay. And then the top. When I have a lot of the same tumbler, I usually just cut at least two to three at a time. And then I don't care about leaving the white border a little bit on the bottom. Everyone has their own preferences, but like to me, it's not that serious. It really isn't. As long as there's a picture of what it actually looks like, the person receiving it usually doesn't care because it looks just like the picture you provided them. Usually I like picking sublimation designs that have more like a white background because of seams. It's my preference, but I really like these. I should cut it because it's a white background. I'm gonna use this one as a guide. I definitely had to cut this off because it's black in the bottom. Now we'll get all these together. And then I'm gonna cut just a tiny piece off the left side. Just a little bit. to go wrap some tumblers. All right, so this is my tumbler press from Heat Press Nation. There's a link down below if you're interested in it. And these tumblers have been sitting here for 10 years. So I bought these, oh, I have so many, it's ridiculous. Boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. Just been sitting here for a long time. Just gonna go ahead and use them. These are 20 ounce skinny tumblers. And when you're looking for designs, you can go on Creative Fabrica and find tumbler designs there. And there's a link down below for them as well. Some people wipe theirs down with the alcohol. I look at them first to see if there's any dings or anything. Sometimes there are. Take the lids off. It's like a scratch. But it's not for sale. Riley probably take all of these or my all pair. We'll go ahead and turn this on. It heats up really fast. Now my tape dispenser is from Amazon. Pretty much everything. It's from Amazon always. Turn my tumblers upside down. Transfer upside down, the white side on the right. So I can tell that I need to cut a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go ahead and we'll cut all these a little bit more on the bottom. It's been over a year since I've printed a tumbler. So yeah, there we go. Right side, the white part. Make sure it touches all the way at the bottom. The white part is the part that's going to overlap. And then I put three pieces of tape. One, two, three. And then the long piece is one side over the seam. And then a piece the other side over the seam. 
And then one more piece across the middle on the side where I had the white and I pull that tight across over. So like that. And then I use the scraper thingy my bobber and I go down the seam all the way down. And then on the seam on the other side where the paper's folded over. Just helps seal it all good. And then my gloves. I heat it at 370 degrees for 90 seconds, but every 30 seconds I rotate it. And then I start with the seam down, face down. I don't miss this smell. <laughs> all right, and then I rotate it towards me. I rotate it to the seam is like right here now. So it went from down, face down, to like right here, and then it's gonna flip all the way to the back. The last 30 seconds. That way, make sure you got all angles. I just wanna do the first one all the way through, just in case I mess something up, because it's been a minute. Right, rotate it all the way back over. All right, it's done. Pop the tape on the inside up, and then on the side. When it's hot, the tape comes up so much easier. Right. Here's what this one looks like. There's the seam. Everything looks great. Amazing. Put it on. Now that I know it looks good, we'll just wrap the rest. Well, I want to make this one, but I also like all the 3D ones. Cause I don't know which ones all I'm gonna make just because I only have five tumblers in here and if I go off there, I'm gonna disturb the children. And then my video recording will be coming to an end. Three pieces of tape. One, two, three. I'm trying to get y'all to be able to see this. Long piece. I don't use 10 million pieces of tape like everybody else. It's just not my thing. Just do whatever works for you. This is what works for me. And then just see. And then the other seam. All right. It's playing games with me now. I did not cut this one straight. Look. It's okay. This is for Riley. She won't get any tape. Tape. So this will give you a better view. That's what I mean by the second scene where they overlap. Bring it all the way down. I'm so excited for this one. I think this one turn out so cute. The other thing with tumblers I can think about is my grip strength is so bad. Hey, maybe this will be like physical therapy, you know, help my strength come back. Guess these last two are gonna get left. They'll be up on the website though. But just for this video, they have been abandoned. All right, let's get to heat pressing. Super cute. Another one came out super cute. Again, there's the seam. Love this one. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this one. Oh my goodness. Here's this one, this is my least favorite. Let me know what you guys think. This one's for Riley. The other ones, I like this one, eh. All right guys, that's it for the tumblers that I'm gonna be making today. It's getting late, it's Saturday. Kids want Chick-fil-A. <laughs> let me know which tumbler did you like best. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and get them listed on AngelaJasmina.com if you would like to purchase one. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.